So welcome back. In the last video, we have talked about why we need abstract class. In this video, we'll talk about interfaces. So there's a lots of confusion between interfaces and abstract classes for some people. So we'll try to understand what the difference is and how we can use it, when to use what. So just to define that, first understand what is interfaces. So just to understand what is interfaces, we'll start with an example where I will start with abstract class and it will move, will move towards interfaces just to see the importance of interfaces. So let's say we have these two classes, pen and pencil, as we have discussed in the last video where we have, uh, I, I told you to do the assignment on this, right? So make sure you complete the assignment that, I mean, that assignment before going for this. So we have class pen and class pencil and we have a class called as kit. So this kit class has a method called as do something. So in this do something, if I pass the object of pen, so let's say pen p and in this we have a method called as public void write. Okay, so we have a method which is write, which writes something. Let's say I'm a pen. So it writes I'm a pen and then in this pencil I have the same method which writes something else. I mean also in this we'll say this I'm a pencil. Simple. And if I pass the object of pen in do something, what pen will do? It will simply say write. That's what we can do, right? That nothing else. To call, to call this method do something, we have to get object of kit, right? So we are saying kit k equal to new kit. And then I will say kit, I mean k dot do something. So in order to do something, we have to pass the object of pen, right? So let's get object of pen here. Okay, let's get a pen object. We'll say pen p equal to new pen. And if I pass the object p here, and if I run this code, you can see it is printing I'm a, I'm a pen. But if I pass pencil, if I take the object of pencil, not pen, I will say pencil equal to or PC equal to new pencil. And if I pass the object of PC here, you can see it is giving you error because we don't have any method which says do something and which accepts pencil. So for that, we have to get the object. We have to get one more method, right, which is do something which accept pencil. And the solution for that is what we, have, what we came up with the solution is we'll create a class and we'll name this class as writer. And this writer class will have a method which is public void write, which is compulsory to have that method, which does nothing, okay? This class does nothing. And all these classes, of the pen class and pencil class will extend writer, okay? Both this class will extend writer. The advantage is, now you can create a reference of a superclass and we can create the object of a subclass as we have seen the in last videos. And now if you pass PC, Instead of accepting pen, if you accept a writer, it doesn't matter which writer you're getting, right? Even pen is a writer, pencil is a writer. It doesn't matter which writer you're getting. You just have to call p.write. So now if I call, if I pass the object of pc, that means I'm passing a pencil, it will call the method. So it will call the write method of pencil. If I pass p, it will call the write method of pen. So I'm passing pc now which is the object of pencil, you can see we got the output as I'm a pencil because we are passing the object of pencil. So this P will, will take the right method from pencil. Now, if you observe this class here, this is, I mean, this method, it is doing nothing, right? Then why to define that method when we can declare it? And we, when you declare the method, we have to write it abstract and we can make this class as an abstract class. Now, everything, everything works fine, right? We have, we are doing abstract from last two videos. And everything will work fine. There's no error here because we are not creating object of writer. We are creating a reference of writer. You can see we are creating reference of writer and object of pencil. So there's nothing wrong there. But the problem is, let's say in future, we have a pen class which also want to extend one more class. Let's say pen is a class which want to extend more class. Let's say that more class is, let's say, ABC. Now, unfortunately, if writer is a class and ABC is a class, we have two classes. In Java, we cannot achieve multiple inheritance, right? Because if one class extends two classes, this is multiple inheritance, right? And Java doesn't support multiple inheritance. Then how to do that? Just to achieve that, can we make, so because the problem is this writer is a class and that's why it's not working, right? But if you make writer, instead of using abstract class, we can make it as an interface. Because if you make something interface, instead of saying extends, we need to say implements. So we, when we work with class, we say extends. When we work with interface, we have to say implements. So this class pen implements writer. So you can see we are saying interface writer. So class pen implements writer. And we can do that here also. And now if you have any class, let's say if you have a class A, I mean if you have class ABC, 
you can say extends ABC extends ABC implements writer even do you can do that the problem here is we don't have any class called as ABC that's why that's the issue but let's say if you have a class ABC you can do that you can say class pen extends ABC we can extend one class and we can implement any number of interfaces we want so that is interface so what is interface interface is same like abstract class the difference is in abstract class we can have abstract methods we can also have normal methods example methods which we can define but in interface we can have all the methods which are abstract so you cannot define a method example if i try to define a method if i say public void show you can see we are getting an error it says you cannot so abstract methods do not specify a body so in interface you cannot define any method you can only declare it so by default all the methods and interface are public abstract so you don't have to mention those two keywords there public app there's something which it assumes so if you create any method in uh, in interface they are by default public abstract for instance remember whenever you extend a class you say extends whenever you work with interfaces we have to say implements okay and the same thing we can create the reference of interface but we cannot create the object of it so we cannot create object of interface we can only create reference of it uh, I hope that makes sense. So this is interface. Now what's the main difference? We can achieve multiple inheritance. I mean we can achieve multiple, in we can implement multiple interfaces but we cannot do multiple, we cannot extend multiple classes. That's the, that's the first difference. Second, all the methods and interface are by default public abstract. So that means you cannot define it. That's the main difference between abstract class and interface. Given a choice, always go for interfaces is because maybe in future someone wants to implement your interface so it is always better to use interfaces if you don't want to define methods yeah if you want, if you want to define methods you can go for abstract classes that's about uh, interfaces we have seen the basics of interfaces in the next video we'll talk about uh, some more stuff in of interface how we can how can we create object of interface using an anonymous class and all those stuff that's it from this video thank you so much for watching